What's good everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to add your own sound fonts or sound fonts you find on the internet into sound font player, okay? So let's get right into it. So first things first is you're going to want to download some sound fonts. I'm on this website right here. There's a bunch of different sound fonts you can get here from all different kind of instruments and drums and stuff like that. Let's just get an effects one. I'm going to download this one that says Electric Night. And you can just save it wherever. So we're going to want to go to that folder that we downloaded and right click it and hit cut. Okay. Now we're going to want to go back to FL Studio. Simple way to find your sound fonts is to go over to browser. And then there's the sound font folder. That's where you can put your presets. You can right click it and hit open. All right. Now this window is going to pop up. Just right click in here and paste that sound font. This is where you can download your sound fonts as well. Now we can go back into FL Studio and open up Sound Font Player. And we can hit this little folder icon right here. And now we can choose whichever one we want. Let's just choose what we downloaded. It's going to open it up and we should be able to play it. See, that was an effects one. I downloaded a drums one also, which is really dope. It has some congos. Definitely don't sleep on sound font player and don't be sleeping on all the dope sound fonts that the community has made. Just search FL Studio sound fonts in Google to find a list of a bunch of different websites. I'll link the website that I use down in the description. If this video brought you value, please leave a like, hit subscribe, and hit that little bell. Make sure you stay safe, stay striving, and always be getting it. Much love, y'all. Peace.